Australia has named a 14-player touring party for the Women's Ashes, featuring two inclusions from their most recent squad that whitewashed New Zealand. Nicole Bolton returns to the side following personal leave, while young quick Taylor Vlemic has recovered from a partial ACL tear and is ready to be unleashed against the English. I feel like, if anything, I'm probably buying quicker than I was um, before before I got injured. I think the extra bit of work in the gym and stuff probably helped with that. And, and yeah, hopefully um, we can continue that and get a bit quicker, hopefully. Are you keen to intimidate the English at all over there? <laughs> Always. I think all fast bowlers are I'm pretty competitive, so um, whenever I can intimidate and bowl a few bounces down there, I'd love to do that. Also in line to make her test debut is damaging all-rounder Ash Gardner. That would be definitely the, the cherry on top. Um, I mean, representing your country in any format is um, really special. So, um, yeah, if I was to receive that, that would be um, an absolute honour. Others in contention to earn a first baggy green are Delissa Kimmins, Georgia Wareham and Nicola Carey. But unlike the men's ashes, the women's will be contested throughout July across three one-day internationals, three T20s and a one-off test. It sort of really shows the, the true... I guess the the better side because you have to be consistent across all three formats. I think we've got a really well balanced team and we're also fortunate enough to have the Oz A girls over there at the same time so um, that allows players that don't necessarily get picked in, in the final 11 to still get match practice while over there. One of those will be the talented Sophie Molyneux who is still fighting her way back from shoulder surgery. The multi-format series gets underway with the first ODI in Leicester on July 2. You know, Ashes series are a huge moments in, in our careers and uh, we always look forward to, to these series so um, we're expecting a really tough battle with, with England who have played some good cricket over the last couple of years so in their home conditions they're difficult to beat and we're looking forward to that challenge.